morning everyone and there's something lovely about having flowers from the garden in your vase rather than buying them in here I've got um, this is from the bay trees then I've got the hydrangeas that I've tried to dry so many times if you've got any tips I'd love to know and then for just that little touch of colour one of the roses you can see there's some little buds in there and I'm sure they're going to come out soon I was really pleased with my little bunch of flowers so easy to do yes that's mum's vase as well was mum's vase it's one of my favourites yeah, the sun's out, it's a beautiful morning. Lunch time and I'm at TGI Fridays. We've come to Freeport again to um, do a little bit of shopping. I've turned it around because uh, there's people in the background. It's a lovely day, it's about 29 degrees today and I'm going to have a little try on of the Ralph Lauren because you know I enjoyed that so much last time. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. So uh, I'm just going to have a quick cup of tea. I'm going to leave Dee and our friend here to eat their lunch while I just have a little bit more of a browse round.
cover for another cup of tea. Jesus, it's absolutely falling down. You could actually hear the thunder about half an hour before it starts raining. A really lovely song, but we're under cover and it's lovely to watch. I love being out in the cold. Well, I thought I'd better share with you what I got on that little shopping trip. That storm was unbelievable. We was all undercover drinking tea and coffee, because I don't really drink coffee, I'm a tea drinker. Dee drinks coffee all day long. And anyway, we was undercover and it was just absolutely amazing just sitting there watching the thunder and the lightning and it was so hot so hot um in fact it was so hot there was hardly anyone out shopping i, I was i was quite surprised some of the shops i literally had all to myself i think people had just thought it was too hot to go out it was it wasn't that bad i didn't think it was that bad Anyway, I'm giving the game away a little bit because you can see this is one of the items that I kept from that Dorothy Perkins haul. And I love a plain t-shirt and I love the collar on this one and it's really comfortable. And I think it was only £6, worth every penny. It goes with everything. Yes, and I also came home to some deliveries as well, so I thought I'd go through those with you. And... I just realised sitting here that I've left a couple of items in the background there, so best I spill the beans. We're going to a wedding this weekend. Um, it's these, well, it's our niece's wedding this weekend, and it will be the first wedding in the family since the virus. You know, since we've been allowed to go and stay at the wedding. You know, uh, allowed to congregate with everybody you know family i'm so excited about it we're going away we're going to stay in a um a hotel it's just um your regular um premier inn i think we're going to stay in it's only for two nights we're going to go up there and meet everyone on the friday night and then it's the wedding and then we come home sunday morning so i'm really looking forward to it and it's not that far away it's in kent so um, yeah, it's just gonna be a really nice little break. But that was the reason why we had to go back to the shopping village, is because Dee has just ordered a made to measure suit. She, she wanted a really nice suit to wear for the wedding. Actually, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be wearing. And I'll try and put some clips in. I don't know if this film will roll into the same film. Hopefully it will. It might get a bit long otherwise if I, film everything um but yeah we're gonna look quite nice together i think and i might even get a picture of me and Dee together i'm not promising because she is so camera shy you would not believe it she hates being in anything that's why you barely ever see her anyway let's turn you around let's keep you up so this is what I'm wearing um, it's a Roman originals dress and it's so beautiful I've only ever worn it once I was going to get a new dress and he said why don't you wear that beautiful dress that you wore to Ascot and so I thought yeah why not so I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be wearing this jacket, but I think these jackets, Roman Originals do these in every colour possible and they are so handy to go over a sleeveless dress. I'll link them below. But yeah, that's the dress. It's got a little tiny thin belt to go with it. And then it's a pleated long skirt and it's a beautiful print so yeah I thought why not 
it's a shame isn't it we we get these special dresses and they just get stuck in the wardrobe so i thought yeah that's what i'm gonna do but the suit that d ordered actually pairs up with the dress so well pink and grey can you see the pink in there yeah and inside i made a rabbit monogram let me see if i can find it there you go that's her nick that's her nickname Butch. quite a larry print in there but it's a very nice suit and the service I'll do that up in a minute. Yeah, what I want to say there is I was impressed with the service there from uh, Moss Brothers, it was, where we bought the suit. Um, made to measure and it wasn't right on a couple of uh, fittings and they just did it straight away. They, they, they was very quick at doing any alterations and it fits like a dream. So yeah, if you need to get your men a suit anywhere in the UK, go to Moss Brothers because they do made to measure. It's not as expensive as if you went to London for a made to measure, but it was very good. I'm going to leave their link below. Right. Ah, oh, what I bought shopping. <laughs> I was quite naughty. I was only going to buy one item if that because we only went to pick the suit up but i saw this dress you must probably see it in the try on and uh, this dress from ralph lauren and i i could spend money in that shop it's badness but i just love everything i'll have a try on of the items anyway and we'll have a look in a minute and you can tell me what you think but so Super pleased with that. I think the print is beautiful. It's got all your summer colours in there. Reds, creams. It's got baby blue, lemon. So many colours in there. I really like it. And I like that the belt is a different material to the dress. It just makes it that little bit more different. And I bought the shorts that I tried on as well. and they are just perfection pockets the detail on these uh they need to be unpinned yeah they're all tacked together but the detail on this stuff is just everything i just love the quality you, it's smart and you can't get a nice pair of smart shorts i don't think um the rest in here is these actually she's bought ralph lauren shorts and she's bought um a t-shirt to go with those shorts and i think this men's stuff it, yeah 45 pound this was knocked down to so we're going different changing rooms and come out and say what did you buy? You know, what are you buying? So she always buys more than me. Always, always, always. More clothes than I will ever have. Anyway, so that was that, and uh, I'll try those on in a minute. And I came home to a little package from the Jewelry Channel. I thought this was really cute. It's a silk scarf. How pretty is that? And it's very long. And do you know I was thinking about making like a poolside top out of it. I like doing that. I like doing things with scarves. I wouldn't have much belly showing. So I'd pin that and tuck that down. There you go. I like doing things with scarves. It doesn't just have to be a scarf. But I reckon that would be that might be nice with those white shorts. If I was to go on holiday, that is what I would do. You'd need a 
strapless bra obviously but you could pin that this is what I have in mind for it I don't know why but I just did yeah so that could be pinned at the top that can be tucked into the shorts and I think that would look lovely sometimes I get square scarves and I slit a hole in the middle and I wear it as a top just like a cow neck top like that so in the colder months you could get a t-shirt do that and then I tuck the rest into my trousers and then you throw your jacket over the top and it, it's just something a little bit different yes or I'll just wear it as a scarf as it should be really really pretty the jewelry channel they have some bargainous bits and pieces on there uh, um, I had watches a little while ago I think I shared it on one of the accessory hauls but I'm super impressed by the little bits and pieces oh the pink bag as well you might have seen that pink leather bag it's absolutely beautiful for 40 odd pounds for real leather as well hang on let's see if I can get that out Yeah, there you go, real leather. And I really, you know, it's excellent quality. I think it's 48 pounds or, you know, similar to that price for real leather. And what a beautiful colour. It did come in other colours. Yeah, so good on the jewellery channel. I find bargains on there. I do work with them. That I, I, I've not paid for the scarf or the bag. Um, this is for purely really for posting on Instagram and that's a good little plug I'll leave my Instagram down below there I'd love you to connect with me over there if you would and more silk Lily Silk such a popular brand it is now on YouTube you see so many of the younger women doing a Lily Silk unboxing I featured Lily Silk on my blog about five years ago and I still have that first item now and I still wear it. You cannot beat the feeling of silk, I don't think. And they asked me if I'd like to try something and I know I've got a discount coming, a discount code coming for you and I'm not sure if it will be live in this film or it might be the next new in a haul but if I can leave the discount below today then I will do and I went for something a little bit different this time I just love their packaging as well look at this beautiful box it all comes tissue wrap and I went for a skirt and I received this beautiful bias cut floaty black skirt it's going to need a little bit of an iron before I show you it tried on but my plan is what are we we're just coming into August aren't we it's not going to be long now before you'll start seeing me sharing jumpers and more winter stuff because the brands are going to start sending in their new seasons and the idea for that was to have a nice cashmere jumper and knee high boots that is what I, I envision to wear that with I don't know what I'm going to try it on with today because I don't often wear a lot of black yeah oh and a hair scrunchie they sent me a hair scrunchie as well I didn't know that was coming but they do some beautiful silk scrunchies this is a navy one so yeah super pleased with that as well they come in little pouches and silk is just so special I always feel special wearing silk I have actually done a whole film on how I style my silk shirts so I'll leave that link below as well because I have a few um, oh yes um, this is the last item life armor slumber and herbal infusion switch off drift off 
a blend of organic ingredients for a dreamy slumber. And it's lemon balm, passion flower, chamomile, lavender, valerian root hops. So that's that's going to be interesting, isn't it? It feels like there's a load of grass in there, to be fair. But um, yeah, I'll give it a try. And I'll leave their link below. They also sent slumber drops. Now this smells lovely. I've already, I've already had a little whiff. And this is lavender drops to put on your pillow. Look how dark it is. I was surprised. Look at the colour. It's brown. But when you, um, I put some on a bit of tissue. But it's just a beautiful lavender smell and I, I love lavender yeah so thank you Life Armour for sending that and that's it I'll see you in the morning because I'll be packing to get ready to go to this wedding I'm really excited I'm looking forward to going away for a couple of days so that's it I'm gonna go and cook dinner now speak in the morning and here it is on. I absolutely love it. You, I couldn't go out and have a meal in this. <laughs> it's, it's close. It's close on the body. Um, but it was the only dress in the store. And oh, how many of us do it? We think, oh, I'll lose a couple of pounds. That will be fine. I think I might need <laughs> to lose a couple of pounds. It just fits but I absolutely love it there's a lot of love it's going on um I like the print and I like that this belt is different as well to the rest of the dress I like the skirt I like that it's got pockets I am really happy with it, really happy. I don't know what it is about this um, Ralph Lauren brand, but it's just really caught me. I love everything about it. That I could go in their store and buy so many things, and I can't believe that I'm 58 years old, and I'm only just discovering Ralph Lauren. So, yeah, but I, I'm so happy with it. It's You go to that Freeport store and everything is just that little bit cheaper so it's not too hard to be parting with your money. I mean, some Ralph Lauren stuff, if you look on the website, it's really expensive. Um, but, yeah, finding these pieces. And if you look online as well, you can find good discounted Ralph Lauren items. I'm going to leave a few links down below because I have been doing my homework and finding out how I can get my hands on this brand just that little bit cheaper. Yes, so yeah, very pleased with it. I like the length. And the thing is about Ralph Lauren, it's the quality this is one of the reasons why I like Reese. It's all about quality. It's not going to fall apart in five minutes. I mean, this waistband here, it's even got a hook and eye fastening at the waistband. And it's those little bits that make all the difference, I think. And it's classic. I like it because it's classic. Yes, so it's a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. But I really like it. Right, there's a real monochromatic theme going on here. But here's the skirt. And it's lovely. It feels beautiful on. It's so flowy. It's all lined as well. Absolutely beautiful. This isn't what I wanted the skirt for, to be fair. I don't really have a lot of summer tops that will go with black because black is not the sort of colour I wear a lot. You, you'll discover that. But I do love... Check the hair out. <laughs> Can you tell I've been rushing? 
sort it out, Laurie. Bit better. <laughs> and look at those lily white legs. I'm I'm very white because <laughs> I'm saving the new tan for the wedding. Yes, so a little bit white at the moment. Never mind. Yes, I like it. I think another top would have looked better, but the idea is there. I love the fit of the skirt. It's um, it just skims over really nicely. It's lovely. It's not tight. I'll leave the sizes below actually, and this will wash in the machine like I said. Lily silk does. It's brilliant. Yes. And here are the shorts. I, oh, I keep saying love, but yes, I do. Um, very, very happy with these. I tried them on. I wasn't going to buy two items. I was only, on the way there in the car, I thought, if I buy anything today, because I wasn't really planning on buying, it's only gonna be one thing. And Dee saw these shorts on me and she said, you've got to have them shorts. So, yeah, we bought them. But I love them. They've got nice seams down the front here. They're very, very smart for a white pair of shorts. And this is most probably how I will wear the shorts as well. I like it. The uh, linen shirt, nice and cool. Um... Yeah, I think it's nice, <laughs> apart from the white legs. And this mirror, I swear this mirror makes me look fat. I've actually even shown Dee, I've taken a picture of me in the mirror here and then gone in our bedroom and taken a picture in the mirror there. And I look twice as slim. I don't know what it is about these mirrored doors, but they are not forgiving at all but yeah anyway you can see what they look like very very nice and if there's any still left available I will leave a link because I think I only saw these online the other day but the Ralph Lauren sale their stuff sells so quick I also like the bags and I've got my eye on one of the bags as well and uh they was all sold when when I went to look at them. I think a couple of days ago, they was all gone. So it sells quick. Yes, so that's my little try on. We've arrived to our little room. It's a... Uh, I put this on this morning and it's nice and cold I just thought I'll rummage about and pack in this and I, I just didn't get changed in the end I've got green trousers on yes I shall change later in case we go out for the evening I don't know if we will be it's pretty basic room really bin, shelves, tea and coffee don't need much more than that a desk, of course I've bought the laptop, it comes everywhere. Yeah, it's a pretty standard room. I have to say, I always like the Premier in beds with the Hypnose mattresses. Um, me and Dave have stayed in several premiering hotels and we ended up actually buying a Hypnose mattress because we loved it so much. I can't show you in the bathroom properly because these actually gone out with the key. It's just standard isn't it? But we're not going to be here much. Yeah, nice and clean. No biggie. But hey, it will do the job. 
do actually have some exciting news. I'm going to a hotel resort, a hotel spa resort in September that I'm really looking forward to sharing with you. I'm going to be pampered. It's a press trip. I cannot wait. And it's going to be the first time I've been on a press trip for at least a year and a half. Since, since the pandemic, so I'm really excited about it. But this will do, this is nice. I'm gonna put the kettle on. And this is our river view. It's been raining a little bit, but the sun's coming out now, and it's been really nice. I'll show you around the other way. There's a boat just coming up the river. It's actually been a really nice day. I did actually go to bed for an hour and grab an hour as well. It's nice to take some time out. And we've just had fish and chips and now we're going to go and get in bed and watch TV all night. We're going to be really lazy and naughty. Why not? Right, we're all ready. Wedding. It's really turned out a lovely day actually. And I was hoping to get some pictures of me and Dee but it's so busy. She's very shy, so I don't think she's going to have a picture done, but I'm going to show you what I'm wearing anyway. So I'm just going to flip the camera over. So I don't think I've ever shown this dress before, actually. I'm doing this in front of a lot of people and it feels really weird to be filming in front of a lot of people. Um, yeah, this dress is from Roman Originals. I've had, I actually wore this to uh, Ascot and it's the only time I ever wore it and it's such a beautiful dress. I thought why not wear it for the wedding? So it's worked out really well. Yes, so I'm going to try and get a picture of me and Dean now and I'll put that in. Right, I thought I'd come up and uh, share this dress because uh, it's so busy down there. It's absolutely packed out with people and I, I just got a little bit shy. So, yeah, here it is. It's such a beautiful dress, I just wanted to share it with you and it's, a, it's an absolute steal for the price. Roman always do lovely wedding party dresses i think it's got a nice little belt here yes pinks and blues and it works perfectly with d suit um i've actually just got a couple of pictures of me and day which is a record and i'll be hopefully posting one on here so that you'll be able to see what we both look like and now we're off to the wedding. I don't know if I'm going to record any. I'm going to enjoy the day. The weather is amazing. It was raining all day yesterday. So the bride has been blessed as well. So I'll see you in a little while. Morning. It's early morning. We had a lovely day yesterday. There's the river. I'm just, uh, we had a good night's sleep actually in the hotel. We're just about to take some quick photos before we leave. So I'll add some snaps in. It's this H&M stuff that I'm absolutely loving from the last haul. And I've not even taken any photos of it yet. And it's not far off of raining, so I'm gonna hurry up, I think. But I'm looking forward to getting home. It's been a lovely time though. A really nice little break. This is what I'm wearing, the waistcoat and that popular belt. These, these belt, oh, these belts have been so popular while uh, 
I've had those links open really popular. I think I'm going to get the black one as well, actually. Anyway, let's crack on. Also, I'm going to be in trouble for not being ready to go. There's another jog out. Lots of joggers around here. Everyone loves a bit of a jog. <laughs> Mind you, who wouldn't going along that uh, lovely riverside? Right, I'm home at last. I got caught in the rain a little bit. It's only an hour's journey, but taking the cases and the bags and everything to the car, we did get caught in a nice little downpour. I've just been to the supermarket to uh, get some fresh milk and bread. And I picked up some gladiolis. These are a real peachy, orangey colour. But they always look sparse, I think. Sometimes I like sparse, sometimes I don't think they look so good. But I've got this faux eucalyptus as well. I think I've got this in TK Maxx. So I'm going to pair them up together. I thought I've not really finished up that vlog, have I? So it's been a whole week and thank you if you've managed to reach this far by the way i hope it's not been too boring it's just bits and pieces of what's been going on and uh, yeah i've had a nice week anyway the wedding was lovely it was really nice to stay away but i've got copious amounts of tea on tap because you can never have enough tea when you get home it's my own cup of tea my tea my water it never tastes the same as home does it two seconds yep i'll be drinking this all day naughty i know i need to drink some more water yeah so anyway i thought i'd get these in the bars and i've also had a couple of pr boxes as well so i thought We'd share them and then that is it, I promise. So I thought I'd have a little play with these. The dogs are very quiet. I've had a house sitter. I always get a house sitter to come and stay with the girls as well. And they seem really worn out. Oh, I can't even undo this. And the photos that we took this morning, I hope they're going to be okay because uh, it was really early and it was quite dark so I have no idea how they're going to come out. And I hope they're going to be okay and not a waste of time. Yeah, so they, you get this a lot, don't you, on these faux things now that they've got little ridges there where you can bend them to be whatever length you want them to be. The gladiolis are quite tall so I'm going to keep this quite tall I think. I hope that light's okay because I'm right by the back door and it's flickering I can see so I hope it's going to be okay. Um, yes in my still unpainted kitchen we will get it done eventually. I think I might only need two of these sprigs, I don't know. I'm going to try with two. Actually, I'm going to try it with three. I think three are going to look better and I think this one should be a little bit shorter. Yeah, I hope this is going to work. At least I didn't have to worry too much about the garden because here in Essex, I mean I was still in Essex, uh, well I was in Kent, which is only an hour down the road, but um, we just fancied a, a little break, you know, when, when you're out late partying, we didn't want to drive all the way home so quick. Yes, I think they're going to be the right length. And it was supposed to rain yesterday at the wedding and we only had a couple of spots. 
but apparently it rained horrendous here, so we was lucky. I don't know if this is going to be enough green, it's not. I'm going to have to put the other faux piece in as well, I think. So cheap though, less than two pounds. Can't grumble at that. I think one of these sprigs needs to come in the front, maybe, and I think I might do a shorter gladi as well. Yes, one short one, yep yeah, I'm going to put them in as well. Oh, we'll take a look when it's all opened up next week and see what it looks like. That's a lot better. Now I've put them extra stems in. Yes. I think that's going to look quite nice. Once they've all opened up, that will look beautiful. Right, put some water in there rubbish that weighs a ton I might clip them together because they're splitting. I've got these plastic strips and they're like, once you put the slide in, that's it, done. Yes, better. Yes, I like it. It's all looking very bold, isn't it? It's taller than me. Um, what's your favourite summer flower? Let me know in the comments what your favourite flower is. I hope this is going to be all right. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, no more playing because I'll just ruin it. So I think the more you fiddle, the worse it is. Maybe they should be shorter, but then I'm going to lose the flower in the bars. Oh, right. Let's have a look at this stuff that's come. Now, Emma Hardy, you know I've got the cleanser and I actually took that cleanser away with me. It's absolutely brilliant. It's one of the best I've ever used. The cleanser, um, it looks like a gloopy oil and you just need a pea-sized amount and you put it on and it feels like a spa on your face it's beautiful the smells beautiful I have shown it on here before 
but as soon as you add water to it it literally just goes to like a milky cleanser i absolutely love it it takes your mascara off takes everything off so i just put a little bit in a pot and took that away with me and i guess i should show you how that cleanser works which i will do soon we're gonna have to have a morning beauty routine or a new nighttime routine because i know i did one a few weeks ago didn't i um yeah so they've sent me midas touch super serum clinically proven to increase skin hydration in only four weeks so that's going to be interesting Protect and Prime SPF 30, amazing. Although I do have to say I'm enjoying very much my um, Alpha H 50, SPF 50. I'm getting along with that very well, but maybe I could use this on the days when it's like this and not so sunny. Um, Plump and Glow Hydrating Facial Mist, so I look forward to opening that and having a go which i think is amazing when it's a hot day and this is a moisturizing hand sanitizer so that's handy to know that there's moisturizing ones out there rather than ones that are going to make your skin fall off so that's going to be interesting and then i've got a new makeup brand coming that i've never tried before and it's called Inica and it's powder base. So much packaging. Look, three layers. Um, what have we got here? Certified organic lip and cheek cream. So this is going to be a cream, not a powder. That's very peachy, isn't it? Interesting. That is a colour that I've not really tried before. It's very... There's a lot of sparkle in there. I almost probably love that on my lips. I don't know about my cheeks. Um, what else have we got? Oh, mascara. Never have too many mascaras. I love trying mascaras because not a lot work on me. At the moment, I'm loving the Studio Tint Mascara. If you watch the film, there's a whole face of makeup on Studio Tint. Their mascara is amazing. Oh, that feels like a nice brush, actually. Nice and thin very easy that will be good for my short lashes look forward to trying that and then we got a face in a box and this is all the powders that you need um what have we got in here a pure primer a BB cream, a liquid foundation, a perfection concealer, a kabuki brush. Oh, I've got to open this. Who doesn't love a kabuki brush? <laughs> it's what I use the most. I use them to blend my foundation in mostly. Which way do you open? This way. Yes. Oh, and it does have a kabuki brush. Ta -da! I think these are amazing to blend everything. It's not as stiff as my one. The one I use all the time is by Tarte, and it is the best. But that's going to be lovely as well. It feels nice. And I've got to remember this is for powder. So. It doesn't swivel down, which is a shame. But yeah, all the same, it's a nice brush. And they're tiny little samples, so we've got all the little bits in here. This is like a trial it out kit, I guess. And see if you like it. Oh, 
organic liquid foundation it's very hard to read and then we've got the powders in here so we've got a bronzer this is where the kabuki brush comes in and that will get swizzled round in there tap to get the residue off that's nice I like that I like that straight away I hope I'm not going too orangey. <laughs> nice. I like it already. What else have we got? So that is Loose Mineral Bronzer Sun Loving. And then we've got Old Loose Mineral Foundation. So this is what I was hoping to try. Pouring with rain again. Can't get the sticky out. Let's try on the palm. Hmm, yeah, that actually covers some of the red as well. Doesn't smell of anything. That's going to be interesting too. these little pots are. Hello Bo, have you missed your mum? People can't see you. Ah, so this is Blush Roxy Glow. Mm, don't know if this is going to be my cup of tea because it might be a bit shimmery. If you can see that it's very pinky sparkly might use it on the eyes oh it tones right down with the brush quite nice what's this one? Oh, this is highlighter so it's just plain now this again I would most probably use on my eyes so in the next weekly in the next weekly vlog I'll most probably be trying this out that's very white look sorry that's the dogs pattering about oh actually that is not shiny at all that is nice I'm impressed with that yes I look forward to trying it all out once I can get all open comes in a lovely box as well that would make a nice gift yes lovely right that's the end thank you for staying with me if you managed to make it to the end if you made it to the end let me know what your favourite flower is now, they're making a lot of noise the girls because they're going to start playing the joy of laminate flooring and claws that makes a lot of noise anyway I'm going to finish my tea and stop off now thank you once again for watching it was lovely having you with me please give the film a thumbs up and if you want to see more please subscribe I would love that See you next week.